Hey cuties, Courtney here from Color Me Courtney and welcome back to my channel. Today is another haul video. The well, last month was September and it was all about shades of purple. So we did lilac, lavender, other purple colors. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of shades of purple. So today I want to take you through everything we bought for our shades of purple month and kind of try them on for you, show you what worked, show you what didn't work, all that good stuff. And I'll make sure I link everything down below so you can shop it. I'll include size information. If it's not a plus size piece, I include a plus size version for you. If it's over $100, I include a look for less version for under $100. So basically there's no excuse. You can get all of this stuff. It can either be in your size or in your price range. I make it happen for you. You're welcome. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get to the video. I'm gonna try on some of the purple stuff I got. I like to get like a biker short set and like a bra top. I actually couldn't find a full set I liked in lavender or lilac or purple. So I got this little purple top. It has like zero support at all. I'm wearing a bra underneath it right now, but a lot of days I'll just wear it like underneath like a sweater or something when I don't feel like wearing a bra. These biker shorts are also like, they're just like very basic cotton biker shorts. I also got a fair share of purple cardigans, sweaters, things like that. So I got this purple set from ASOS. It's actually really cute with the bra top, I think, because it kind of matches. It has a built-in belt. I'd maybe like switch it out for like maybe a blue belt and add a pop of color. That's kind of fun, especially if I pair it with like a blue headband. I also got these purple pants. So I think this would look cute with the blazer. Yeah, I like that. And a high-waisted pant shows my waist, which is like my smallest point compared to my butt, which is definitely not my smallest point. You could also just pair it with a bunch of different purple items. I got this sweater that I really like. It has like some different colors in there, which is fun. Like mint and orange and purple and like burgundy. Like a, not your normal color mix, but I like it. I like it a lot. This was a slightly lighter lavender, but I like a monochromatic look when you play with different shades of the same color. This has like a interesting like sailor neck. I actually probably wouldn't pair it with pants. Probably pair it with a skirt or something, but top is still very cute. I really like this color combo of purple and blue together. I'd probably tuck it in. I'd do probably a better job. And then pair it with a headband like this. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, this would be a cute outfit. Purple skirt with striped shirt and a headband. Very cute. I guess you could probably also still do another monochromatic look with that same blazer from before and wear it with the skirt. Patronus sweatshirt, which is perfect because I was rereading Harry Potter 4 for the 15,000th time. It says Expecto Patronus on the sleeve. Also would look very cute with this skirt. My Patronum for sure would be an elephant. Expecto Patronum! I actually bought this for a Halloween costume. It's not gonna look very good right now. <laughs> it was like $14, but I'm gonna wear colored wigs for fun sometimes because why not? I got this shirt. We're just gonna keep it nerdy here for a second. This is from Gravity Falls cool TV show, but just kind of a way to style a sweatshirt and make it like not so like kitty is I think to dress it up with like combat boots or a skirt instead of just wearing it with jeans. This isn't a perfect match, but I really like this graphic shirt too. It says tricks are for kids. This rainbow sweater would also work with the same skirt. It would also work with our purple pants, or you could just wear it with jeans if you wanna be basic. So this one kinda of has like an off the shoulder situation, but not too much, like so you could still probably get away with like wearing it to an office or like something like that if you guys had a little bit more of a casual dress code. No one needs this, but also everyone needs it at the same time. I actually didn't end up wearing it. Probably gonna return it, which is very sad, unless I can figure out something else to wear it to. Oh, I can't return it, it's so fun. I'd probably wear it really similar to this, like with something that shows a little bit of skin just since it's so oversized and like shapeless. Oh, this, kinda cool, but kinda weird. I think I bought it because I was planning on using it for a Disney look. I would probably wear it with like a cute white skirt. 
Do I have one? Come on, darling. This is one of the tops I was most excited about, just cause it is simple, but has a lot of like layering potential because it's a unique silhouette. So again, this looks cute with the skirt. We know the skirt looks good with everything. Or it's just like simple enough that you could wear with jeans and it like has like cute detail. But I have this dress, but it's strapless dress. I don't really wear strapless dresses. They're not super flattering on me, but I layer it with like t-shirts underneath and then it's super cute. But this is cute to do like light purple with dark purple. So this is just actually a white top. It comes in like a dusty lilac too. So I got it in white as well as lilac. It has like this cute like pull up detail on the side. But I'm gonna pair it with these kind of like cool cargo-y pants. So that's cute, I like that with the white top. It also has this matching top that I haven't tried this on so I'm not so sure about it. But I wouldn't probably wear this like solo cause like it's not even gonna cover like my nips but I think it'd be cute to layer it underneath like a white shirt like this that's kind of cute this is actually men's but you know I think you'd wear it mostly crossbody I think you could wear it as a fanny pack cute either way I feel like I showed this for Barbie month so I was gonna return it but then I decided to keep it because I thought it would be cute for lilac too because you know and it this like shows us that we can wear pink and purple and all those things all together which is fun so I found this striped sweater that has like some pastel colors oh it has some lilac in there I love when a sweater has like a detail like this I think it just makes it instantly cuter because I always end up pulling my sweaters up like this because I'm so short so this skirt I didn't buy for this month I actually bought it for lilac last year because last April it was the color of the month I hate ugly elastic waistbands I just think they make things look instantly so cheap so I always just layer a belt over it and then your outfit looks way more expensive. So if you're buying cheap Amazon tool skirts, guilty, just layer it so you're not seeing that cheapness. Like a cool like pastel fall moment. And I saw this girl wearing sequin basketball shorts in one of the videos. And so instantly I wanted them. The shorts were like a thousand dollars. And then they went on sale and so it's like, okay, I'm gonna buy them even though they're still like really expensive. And then of course they sold out. So I didn't get sequin basketball shorts. That was like a year ago. Oh no, this top's not gonna fit. But then I found these and I thought they gave like a similar vibe. They're actually not as like baggy as I would want. But of course the top doesn't fit me. So here's how it looks as a set, which is cute. And there's like some iridescent purple vibes in there. I love these for when I get out of the shower. So I got these in two colors. Comes with a turban -y thing with like a clip for your hair. That way you can be hands-free when you're getting out of the shower. So there's a lilac, as well as like a dark purple color. So I got both. Things we always need more of, totes. Probably not, but I liked the shape of this one. Let's move on to jumpsuits, shall we? I've been wearing this around the house a ton. because It's so comfy, it's a little bit big. I probably should have got a size smaller. Drawstring waist, so I don't have to wear a belt. Has pockets, which we love. I actually would belt this one though, just cause it is a little bit big. I size up in jumpsuits a lot because my butt's so big. And so I'd rather be a little bit big here and fit here than be too tight here. I also got this other purple jumpsuit for a Rescue Rangers outfit. Ch -ch 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 Bendale, Rescue Rangers. Has a zipper here, pockets, has a belt that's built in, which is nice and we love. I have this dress in a few colors, which is just like a perfect fit and flare dress. And the thing I like most about it is that you can convert it into a skirt. So this is one of my favorite tricks, I use it all the time. You just take your dress, zip it up like you would a normal dress, then take the top half and flip it inside. Then you would put on a t-shirt or top or whatever you would normally wear and just treat it like a normal skirt. And then this sometimes looks a little funky because like your crease like shows. So I just add a belt over the top to clean it up. And look at that. You've instantly doubled your wardrobe. One other swanky option I got was this purple gown that I feel like this would be a really fun thing to use for like an Ursula costume. You could use this for the body and then you just put like a corset over the top. I love a good loungewear set. I like that this one combined pink and purple. 
just a snuggly vibe. Oh, it's actually, it's not cropped. It's like a real sweatshirt, but you know, I like to keep my stuff cropped. Another fuzzy snuggly set I got is this one, which is all lilac. Comes with matching pants in the same way. This is like more of like a terry cloth material, but I will say it's not the same material on the inside, which makes it, it like almost has like a mesh on the inside. So it makes it like a lot more breathable. I also got this Prince t-shirt, purple rain, purple rain. I love how lilac and peach look together. So when I found this hoodie sweatshirt, this is what I'm wearing in the intro scene too, but just like a cropped hoodie. Super simple, wear around the house. Plus these like very like 80s acid wash sweatpants. Just like an oversized cardigan. It's probably actually, it's actually like too big to probably wear in real life unless you were just putting it over like yoga clothes or something like that to go to the gym. Um, but I liked it, I liked the color combo. So this I got last year, it's one of my favorite things. I actually used it to create a Bianca bound and I've worn it quite a few times. Just like a super fuzzy faux fur jacket. I have these in pretty much every color. I also made sure to get lilac tights, which are great. I love tights, especially for like winter and fall. This one, I wasn't so sure about, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway. So this like snakeskin jacket. I just don't love the color. I think it's a little too dark of a purple and it's not super warm. So I got this skirt, it gave me like all the Velma vibes and it combined a few fun colors. So, but I really liked that it had some like purple vibes in there. So I think it's cutest with like a chunky sweater or a sweater tucked in into that waist. It's kind of like an oversized turtleneck vibe. I love these. I buy a few of these every year in different colors. I have like a blue one that I wore the crap out of last year. You can add a belt. This one's kind of fun because it kind of brings some of that blue coloring in. I also got this fun fuzzy sweater. Very 90s to have these like super fuzzy sweaters. This one kind of gives a full like schoolgirl 90s vibe. Ah. Oh. Oh, I guess the only other thing I didn't show you was this fun purple headband. Kinda makes me feel like a Triceratops, but I'm not mad about it. I had some purple shoes already in my closet. I had this pair, it was like a light lilac, and then I bought this darker shade of purple. This is like my favorite pump. I have it in like six or seven colors. And it's also sometimes fun to do like a two-tone moment, which I know is kind of crazy, but I often do because it's the same shoe. Well, cuties, thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked our Shades of Purple month and this kind of fun purple haul. Just as a reminder, everything that I featured is linked for you down below, so you can shop it in those links. And if you wanna see more of my purple stuff, you can check the hashtag ColorMePurples, purples with an S, because we did different shades of purple, um, and you can see all the looks I did for our color of the month of September. Now we're in October, so we have a brand new color being featured, um, so make sure you check out my Instagram account, at ColorMeCourtney, so you can see the brand new color, and stay tuned for the new haul coming up soon. That's it. Oh, and like and subscribe to my channel. Like, like the video, subscribe to my channel. You know what to do. Thanks so much. See you later. 